Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, it's just my second video, so please don't mind the poor quality or my makeshift desk. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's been having a great day. Uh, if you have had the chance to paint or draw something today, uh, let me know in the comments. Unfortunately, yeah, I've had a pretty busy day, so I didn't really get to anything. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get back to that tomorrow. So yeah, today I'm going to be kind of, yeah, doing a sketchbook tour. Um, it's actually the very, very first sketchbook that I've ever completed, ever. Even when I was younger, I never actually got through a whole sketchbook before I moved on to the next one. So it's very exciting. Um, so yeah, here is the sketchbook just in front of me. Um, it's a Canson watercolor sketchbook. Um, so yeah, as you can see from the front, I have quite a few stickers on it. Um, can you tell that I'm a Vessi fan? Um, I think most of the stickers are Vessi related. So yeah. And this is a sketchbook that I've had. I started it in November of 2022 and I just finished it this month um, or last month, I guess, in January of 2024. So yeah, I... Uh, it took a while to complete the sketchbook, but to be fair, uh, when I started it, I was still in school. So it wasn't really until probably the summer last year that I actually got into it. So um, yeah, it definitely looks like it took longer to get through it. So yeah, just here on the first page, I was, I mean, I am really a watercolor beginner. So I kind of wanted to start with a color chart um, going over yeah, just mixing the different colors that I had in my palette. Um, all of these being kind of the first watercolors that I got, which were all kind of the Mike Michaels brand, I guess. I think it's Artist Loft. Um, yeah. And yeah, here, I think that was in November. Yeah, just when I got the sketchbook, it was just kind of at the end of fall and autumn so I kind of wanted to draw some leaves and a pumpkin um which I actually really like for the time um yeah that one's not too bad and then yeah I believe I took this is where I took like months of a break and I got back to it in the summer last year um where I wanted to start learning how to actually yeah paint watercolor leaves well and so yeah I kind of did a lot of practicing on that um, to kind of try to improve and yeah more plants and florals uh, something you're going to tell in the sketchbook is that whenever I don't really know what I want to paint I usually go back to something floral um, or something having to do with nature and yeah here on the right is my first crack at a landscape which um yeah, I mean, it's all right. Um, you know what, I was a beginner. Um, not to say I'm any better at landscapes now. Landscapes are definitely something I'm still struggling with, but um, yeah, it was okay for, for the time being. And then here, I, I really remember not knowing what I wanted to paint and I have a lot of trouble kind of figuring out yeah, what I, what I want to create. Um, and so I think for this day, I literally put in, I don't know, I picked random words from a, a random word generator um, online and it gave me something like um, rat uh, jacket and like puffer or something like that. And so that's where this kind of rat came from. And so yeah, this page here actually wasn't done with watercolor. I think this one was acrylic. Um, but yeah, after that, I think pretty much everything in this sketchbook is watercolor. And then, yeah, I really, I really enjoy kind of anything to do with the ocean and fish. And so I thought I'd give it a crack um, over here. Yeah, again, very much a beginner at this stage. And then on this page, I, I've always seen a lot of people on Instagram um, making kind of these misty forest scenes. And so I wanted to give that a go. And yeah, as you can see, not not very good, um, but you know, uh, for the time it was okay. And yeah, not much to say on this house here. 
either. And then again with a few more florals, um, I'm not a huge fan of the flowers going on over here, but it really was just practice. I really hadn't had a lot of practice or didn't really understand water control at the time. And so, yeah, you can kind of see that with a few of the different flowers here. I actually do like this one though. Um, I really like the, I, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, the crocus, crocus flowers. Um, yeah, I, I really like them um, and when they bloom. And so, yeah, I just wanted to, to draw those, but I, yeah, I really like those. And then next up here, I think this was around Halloween or just before, cause yeah, I wanted to do something kind of Halloween related. So yeah, I, I actually do like this one. Um, yeah, just kind of a, a pot, like a witch's brew. Um, I don't really know what I was doing up at the top. Um, and then over here, I, yeah, I, if you didn't know something that I used to do and kind of make a lot more is, um, sketching portraits of people. And so I wanted to kind of be able to translate, maybe try to translate that into watercolor. Um, so this was my kind of first go at it. I can't say I'm a huge fan of how anything turned out. I think up here, I was trying to kind of along the Halloween lane, um, a zombie with kind of fiery hair. Um, but yeah, it didn't really work out. And yeah, I mean, these are all kind of sketches, but yeah, not, not the biggest fan of those. And then, yeah, moving on here again, another sort of land, mountain landscape and more, yeah, more practicing with the leaves. Um, back, back to when I didn't know what I wanted to draw. And then here I think is finally when I, I got some better paints. Um, I got them gifted to me by my partner and so I, yeah, I wanted to try them out again with the florals, but I think I could tell right away here that the colors were just a lot more pigmented and vibrant than the ones from, um, the artist loft and these here again are artist loft. So I do keep kind of going back and forth depending on how I'm feeling that day, but yeah, it was cool to see the, the nicer paints. Yeah, and then here, uh, I mean, I mean, I couldn't really decide what to do that day. So I think it was just bubbles and seeing how the colors mixed and flowed together. Um, but here I think was the first time I actually followed a YouTube tutorial, um, which I actually do really like how it turned out. I can't remember which tutorial it was, but I'll put it in the description um, if, if I can find it. Um, but yeah, I think the hummingbird's pretty cute. And then, yeah, I kind of wanted to follow along that lane of what I learned in the tutorial and apply it to another animal. So I applied it to, yeah, kind of a forward facing cat there or makeshift cat. Um, and then over here, yeah, again, again, trying to get back to like the landscapes and the watercolor. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I was trying to do. I think I've, I've seen a lot of reels where yeah, some artists add a bit of paint and then some water and it turns out looking absolutely beautiful in a very like abstract landscape. And that was kind of what I was going for. But again, just not having the techniques and the real like knowledge of watercolor to actually do that well by any means. Yeah, and then next up here, um, I actually do like both of these. Um, I don't love the background for for this one here, but uh, yeah, I, I do like kind of how I did the watercolor um, and the mixing and the spots and all that. And then I really like the jellyfish, the moon jelly. Um, yeah, it's just really cute and I like how all the colors turned out. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this spread again. Um, yeah, another common occurrence of not knowing what I wanted to paint and so just kind of throwing not really going in with a plan at all and I have found that for myself I really need to have a plan otherwise it doesn't really turn out um yeah at all kind of how I would want same same thing goes here um I couldn't really decide and then yeah just adding some some fun 
pen and doodles on top of it to kind of, I don't know, try to inspire myself. Um, the cactus is okay. It's, yeah, it's just, it, yeah, it's, it's all right. Okay, and then next here, I don't, like I said, I really like the ocean. So I wanted to kind of paint an ocean landscape. Um, yeah, quickly learned that that is actually very difficult to do. And so that's not something I've tried uh, since, but maybe in the future at some point, I'd like to kind of try that out again. And yeah, kind of learning for the first time the wet on wet technique, which is probably something I should have looked into before I started. But uh, yeah, the more you know as you go. Okay, so this here, I think I also got gifted some gouache paints by my partner. And so these ones aren't actually watercolor. These are gouache. So I don't know if you can tell based on the vibrancy of the colors. Um, I feel like you can tell. I, I do kind of like both, both pages. Um, this side's very colorful and bright and I do kind of really like that. And then this one, I did follow another YouTube tutorial. Which again, uh, the, it escapes me, but if I, if I remember it, I will definitely include that in the description box. Because I, yeah, I really did like that. Okay, it's funny how we can go from one spread that I really like and then jump to another one that's really not it. Um, so yeah, definitely not feeling inspired. Um, also not knowing what I wanted to paint. And so it just creates a lot of nothing in my opinion um, or at least I really didn't feel good about this I still really don't feel good about this so yeah I'll just skip ahead then okay um, so these are actually some of the ones that I like the most um, in my entire sketchbook so um, yeah kind of going into the fall um, I was seeing a lot of people watercolor artists and other artists posting you know, landscapes and trees and the changing with different colors. And I really wanted to kind of do that and learn how to do that well. So I did follow, um, I did watch like a few different YouTube tutorials on, on that. So I actually really like how all of these turned out and where you can see kind of the difference between the sunlight where it's yellow and then darker kind of in the shade. And then I really like the different kinds of trees as well. Um, and the different colors. I just, yeah, I really, really like both of these pages. And I kept doing them into the next as well, which again, um, I think it was, yeah, di some different tutorials. You can tell it was a bit more of the dry um, to kind of create the texture of the leaves on the outside of the tree, um, except for this one here. <laughs> this one here, I I'd really, I wanted to c try to make a willow tree and they didn't really know how to go about it, so I just kind of went at it. Um, which, like, it still looks, you know, all right. Um, but then, yeah, after that, I did go and watch a YouTube tutorial. Um, and so I really, really like this one. And I think this YouTube tutorial was from DeWinton Paper Co. Um, yeah, if I'm incorrect, I'll put that on the screen. But yeah, I really like her YouTube channel um, and the tutorials she she makes they're really easy to follow for beginners so i really do highly recommend and this is the same it was another tutorial made by her which i really really like as well and the next i'm um, kind of still in the theme of anything nature related so yeah i'm um, coming up to you know halloween so i made some pumpkins i really like the pear and the color mixing kind of in the middle there and then yeah, I actually do really like these different sort of leaves and and adding kind of the the pen as well on top of it. It just like adds another layer, um, which is just fun, fun to do. Okay, so the next one here, um, yeah, not not the biggest fan. I don't, yeah, this I was kind of wanting to do something, make a bird. Um, yeah, don't love how this turned out. Um, I, I'm definitely, I'm still kind of on that where I do want to make watercolor birds, but I do need to watch more videos, I think, and to be able to improve because they're actually, yeah, they're definitely 
to me, it just there's a level of detail to them that it's just very difficult to do. And so, yeah, I'll have to spend more time doing that. And yeah, just some leaves there. Okay. Um, yeah, I remember that after when it was starting to get colder, um, I was thinking of moving from making trees, um, deciduous trees, um, to conifers and more like Christmas trees. And so I, I watched a few tutorials and there were different ones that showed you how to do them differently. So yeah, I thought they were all decent and good. And here I remember I wasn't sure what to make and someone, um, I think someone, I saw a reel on Instagram that was something, something similar to this and I wanted to give it a go. Um, I think there's, yeah, it's just supposed to be some wild flowers with, yeah, with like a color changing ground, which, yeah, I think it's cute. Pro not exactly what I was going for, but. Okay, and then yeah, this one here, I I really like how this one turned out. I like the, the circles and the different colors and then on top of it, the leaf with the pen. Um, I just think that shows a bit of a contrast, which is really cool. And then here, I remember I followed the tutorial um, RYC Paints on Instagram. Um, she put up a fox tutorial, which I really, yeah, it was super cute and I really liked it. And then kind of to follow along that, I wanted to do something similar, but maybe with a different animal. So I tried it with a cat, which I thought also was pretty cute. Okay, and then, yeah, another spread where I didn't really know. I think I got a new brush. Oh yeah, oval brush practice. So I got a new brush and I wanted, I thought it would be easy to make leaves and then I, very quickly found out that it just wasn't looking like I wanted and so I actually still haven't come back to practice with this brush which I really do need to do because I feel like once you get it um it can really help and produce really like beautiful lines but yeah at the time it wasn't really going the way I had wanted so then I kind of switched up and decided to make an elephant and some trees um that are a little bit a different kind of tree and a bit more animated cartoony okay and the next one here again another page again here it was the same kind of idea where I wanted to try to create like a, an abstract landscape um, which again I, I don't really know how to do this and so this is something that I kind of want to improve upon but I kind of like the start of this one. You, it kind of looks like shrubs um, and leaving, making sure compared to the last time, leaving white space in between the water. Um, yeah, when you go up and brush against the paint that's in the middle. Um, but yeah, I think to make it more intricate and look better, maybe adding some different colors as well. And yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. And then here it was coming upon Christmas, so I thought I would do something Christmas-esque and I saw a lot of people creating um, ornaments on Instagram and YouTube and so I thought I'd give it a go. Not, not a big fan of how mine turned out, but uh, yeah. And then yeah, here and here more ocean animals, which I really like. Um, I don't really like how any of them turned out. Um, the killer whale, probably the best one out of all of them I think but I also I actually kind of do like the krill a little yeah it's kind of cute but uh yeah maybe it was just too much blue for the orca and it was just yeah no like color mixing nothing really to make it look interesting it just the colors just make it look very flat in my opinion so yeah okay and then the next page okay yeah watercolor practice so yeah I think I was just at that point, I don't know, I had a few days where I wasn't really making anything that I liked and so I really wanted to try something a little bit back to the basics, quote unquote, um, doing things that are more floral and nature-esque. And so yeah, I was practicing um, different leaves and some different flowers and more leaves. And yeah, this was again, it was a, definitely a YouTube tutorial but I really can't remember who I followed um, for this to just trying out the different brush strokes again. 
Okay, and then here, I remember, yeah, I followed tutorials by DeWinton Paper Co. again. Um, yeah, to try to make a black cat. Um, yeah, I made it twice because I really didn't like the first one. The second one's a little bit better. And then I also made some poppies following the same, the same thing. Okay, and then next up, um, again, I think I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do and it gets to the point where even trying to figure out what I'm trying to do, it takes me so long that by the time I even decide, it's too late for me to even paint anything anymore. Um, so again, just I always go back to leaves and, and things like that. Okay, here... Again, couldn't decide what I wanted to paint. And so I think, yeah, random word generator again. I don't remember what the words were. Um, probably something like jar, plant, and pulley, I think. Um, so yeah, it was all right. And then, yeah, this page, again, not, I wasn't really feeling it um, that day, which you can probably tell. Okay, on to the next. I do, I do like this one, this landscape here. Um, another tutorial by DeWinton uh, Paper Co. Um, yeah, another autumn landscape, which is really pretty. And yeah, because <laughs> because Christmas was coming up again, I yeah made a little Christmas tree, which I thought was cute. And same thing on the Christmas uh, trend, making some Christmas lights, which was cool. Um, and I remember, I don't remember which tutorial I watched, but um, I do remember they were talking about it was the first time I heard that um, by adding the complementary color, um, you can mute the vibrancy of the color that you want. And so that can help with adding shadows. So yeah, kind of along the edge. So I mean, I haven't taken an art class probably since I was a kid. So I did not remember that at all but yeah it was really cool kind of relearning that and realizing that that was something I could do um yeah and then I had made a whale up there which I thought was just pretty cute just with the different color mixing yeah and here I have a bird um a parrot I I kind of do I do like how this one turned out um it would definitely be cool to see how I can improve more in the future but this one this one I thought it was all right I did like it so yeah, that first one here kind of wanted to make a winter-esque landscape. Um, definitely maybe better than my initial ones, but still not great. Um, I do like this one. It's kind of the rolling mountains kind of look, which I, yeah, it's cute. It's very relaxing to do um, because you don't really have to think about what you want to make. And it's very simple and easy to do. And so I really find... Yeah, if, if I can't figure out what I want, that this is something that'll feel good making. Next up, um, I was just wanting to kind of quote unquote sketch um, some people and their silhouettes. And so yeah, I did that with watercolor, which I like some of them. Some of them were a bit wonky, kind of the first two in this one. But yeah, I do like these older men and the woman walking her dog and yeah. This is cute. And then, yeah, another, I kind of wanted that same idea of the mountain landscape, but I actually try to add different colors into a sunset and the clouds. Didn't really work out, but that's okay. Okay. And then, yeah, getting back to something that I thought was maybe a bit simpler, something I didn't have to think about, just different colors and seeing how they mix and then yeah, a nice little flat um, plant on top of it. And yeah, not much to say about the landscape as well. Kind of the same idea as before. And yeah, I've got two landscapes here. Um, definitely not, didn't love how this one turned out. I think I was expecting the colors to mix a little bit better, but then at the same time, they would just get muddy. So I definitely didn't do the best job picking out those colors. Um, and then this one here, I definitely prefer it to the other one, but uh, yeah, it still wasn't what I was going for. 
So definitely still need to practice that. Okay. I actually do like, this was the first time I, I think I added gold to like a flower or not a flower, a plant. And I do really like kind of the difference between the green, the gold, and then the pen on top of it. And then, yeah, another easy exercise to do, just kind of seeing how the colors blend um, with the forest. And then, yeah, here I've got a couple more forests. Um, I don't really know what I was trying to do here. I think, I, again, it was the misty kind of forest, um, neither of which really worked out, but that's all right. Sorry, this book is a little bit wonky. There we go. Okay. Um, I actually do like this page. I, I especially like the duck. I wasn't going for a duck initially, but I was just trying to practice kind of the wings for birds and it kind of worked out. And I do like how the colors kind of blend there. Um, yeah, the penguin's okay. Um, I, I do actually kind of like how the yellow mixes in with the black there. Um, this page, unfortunately, both, both pages actually, I'm not the biggest fan of for sure. I don't really know what I was doing here. I think, again, it was the kind of thing where I didn't know what to do and I was just a bit frustrated that I couldn't kind of piece together what I wanted to make. And so, yeah, I just kind of started making spots everywhere. Okay, this one here is the first landscape that I actually liked that I made. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I did differently compared to the others. I think I tried to keep it a bit simpler, but still it kind of gives the illusion of a river or some water, a marsh kind of effect and having that gradient from red to purple. Um, yeah. So I know I can definitely still improve, but I actually do, do like this one. And then I think that was the last one that I made in December before Christmas. And so I came back about a month later because January and the holidays were just hectic and so I didn't have time to make anything else but yeah I came back and I remember it was super super cold outside and it was snowing and I wanted to do something to kind of yeah look towards when we'd actually be able to get back to a bit of a more normal winter again um, so yeah I really like how all of these hearts kind of bleed through and it's very simple but it's very cute I really like it Okay. And yeah, this one here, again, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. And so I just, someone had recommended, someone on Instagram, I think I was watching a reel that, yeah, they said just mix different colors together and then kind of draw out the shapes of the different colors. Nothing that you need to decide what to make. It's just to help you kind of get started. And then after that, I did make these watercolor flowers, which I actually do, I do like. I like these kinds of flowers, they're cute to make. And then over here, I made a kettle and some tea, cause I'm very much a tea drinker. Um, yeah, don't love how these turned out, but that's okay. And then I decided to make, cause again, kind of thinking about moving into spring um, with the horrible weather we were having, uh, I thought maybe pink and purple trees um, kind of spring-esque. And then over here, so I wanted to try making a northern lights sort of landscape. Didn't really work out. That's okay. Um, I do like the tree that I made at the, uh, at the forefront though. Yeah. And then over here I have two cats. Um, one of them is laying down and the other one's playing with a ball. Um, so yeah, I, had sketched them and I really liked them and then I thought I'm always scared to add color to sketches um, that I really like because I feel like I'm gonna ruin them and in this case I do like the bottom one I think the top one I added a bit too much pigment around yeah the front paws and the the face but that's okay good to learn and yeah and then last over here um, I actually found some watercolor crayons at my, um, in my childhood home. And so, yeah, I just thought I would, again, couldn't figure out what I wanted to do at the end. And it felt a little bit too intimidating 
to make something really, really nice. So I thought instead, why don't we just do a swatch and that way I don't have to be worried about it. So yeah, it'll be cool. I wanna kind of figure out how I can use them to make some watercolor paintings. I think that would be really cute. So yeah, that's, that's the sketchbook tour from a beginner watercolor artist. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed going through it with me um, and seeing all the good and the bad paintings at the same time. I do, I know um, there were quite a few that I wasn't really impressed with going back, but I do really like to see the ones that are not so good um, and see how, how far I've come and then also seeing, you know, what I could do to improve in the future. And so, yeah, since I'm still very much beginner, I don't really, I mean, I know certain techniques that I can improve upon, but yeah, I'm very much in the dark for some of them, like the landscapes um, in particular, I would like, and both realistic and abstract landscapes. So yeah, if, I don't know if, if anyone can think of things that I could improve upon, I'd really love to hear it. I love some constructive feedback. Um, so yeah, just really, really want to improve. And so I hope that it shows people that you can really, yeah, it's, it's not bad to show the not so good paintings or drawings. Um, yeah, because I feel like we, even, even when we do improve upon our art and painting, we still have those days where sometimes it just doesn't turn out, you know, and that's okay. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching and thank you for coming along on the sketchbook tour. And yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.